Hi, I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com. It isn't news that NASCAR mandated smaller restrictor plates prior to today's duels. The speeds were still higher than they wanted in practice. It also isn't our mission to report news here on Unplugged. You can get that anywhere. What does the incremental restrictions mean to the race? That's what we want to talk about. Nobody's going to notice the reduction in speed because it really doesn't reduce it by much. You will also won't notice a huge difference in the two car drafts in their ability to gain runs on other cars. What you will notice is that they can only draft for short periods of time, maybe three, three and a half laps. And that's added another element to the game. Think of it as a push to pass button, only everybody's going to push it at the same time in the closing laps. The speeds are still right at the 200 mile an hour level and don't be surprised if NASCAR doesn't go for another air restriction based on what we see today. The big prize for the drivers in NASCAR is that the Daytona 500 goes off like clockwork and provides an exciting race. We won't know exactly what package they'll have until after today's qualifiers, but you can bet whatever it is, the two car drafts are a product of the new track and that means that right now more wheeling and dealing between the teams is going on than a foreign policy meeting between the White House and Congress. Any breakaways that we'll see are going to have a specific purpose, whether it's for bonus points, track position, and the staging for the closing laps of the 500. The net of all this is that it's the perfect setting for NASCAR's biggest race. The track is completely unique now. The drivers are going to be chasing the track, watching who they push, who pushes them, when to drop back into the big pack and where they want to ride that out, whether it's at the front or the back. Whatever happens today, expect it to be closer to what we're going to see on Sunday. I hope it's all that it looks like it's going to be. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com.